Hey developers, today we're going to look at five reasons why you should become a software developer. Now this is actually a video that's in response to my last video where I told you five reasons why you should not become a software developer. If you haven't seen that, make sure you click above and check it out. And before we get too far, let's have a quick message from our sponsor. This video is brought to you by Coursera. Now if you're not familiar with Coursera, they're an amazing teaching platform. They have dozens and dozens of very specialized, high quality courses. The one I want to recommend to you today is developing applications with Google Cloud Platform. It's basically four courses in one. If you look in the description below, I have a link to the course. You can actually try out for free for seven days. So make sure you do that. Make sure you click on that link so you can learn all about creating Google Cloud apps on the Google Cloud Platform. Check it out. Thanks. All right, so let's take a look at this list. I put it together in a PowerPoint to make it easier to describe to you guys what it's all about. So let's begin. So this, this is, once again, is five reasons why you should become a software developer or software engineer in 2018. So for number one, there is lots of resources to use to learn from. Uh, so you can, beyond just the in-person type of resources like a coding bootcamp, there's tons of meetups, there's pair programming with friends. You can pretty much learn a ton of different ways, of course, colleges. There is amazing amount of great resources online too. Uh, some of my favorites is Free Code Camp. There's Code School, Team Treehouse, Coursera, which happens to be a sponsor of this actual video. Um, that's a great resource too. Of course, there's a lot of free blogs and YouTube channels like the one you're watching. If you haven't already, make sure you click that subscribe button and click that bell button so you'll be notified next time I put out a video. But suffice to say, there's a ton of different ways of resources you can use to learn to programming and develop. And it's opened up the doors for a lot of people who in the past probably couldn't get into this field because there just wasn't a lot of resources out there. When I was trying to learn back in the day, I had to use a lot of library resources and that wasn't great. The selection wasn't good. Now there's just so many ways you can learn how to become a developer, a programmer. Um, even if you're not even looking for those fields, DevOps, I mean, there's just so many resources online. I would highly recommend checking that out. And if not, there's tons of in-person ones as well. Number two reason, uh, the second reason is it's pretty good money and a good career. So um, for first off, software developers, once you start definitely getting into the more higher end senior software development jobs, they do play pretty well. It's not uncommon for de software developers to make over $100,000 a year. Also, if you're in one of these high demand cities, I mean, with lots of developers like New York or Seattle or somewhere in Mountain View or Silicon Valley, and you can get a job at one of these prestigious, maybe top five, top three companies in the tech, we're talking like Microsoft or IBM or Google or Amazon. I mean, you can come right out of college and make over a hundred thousand. I don't know anybody that's self-taught that didn't have any prior work experience getting hired at one of those places. But you know, I'm sure there is a case of somebody that's done that amazingly enough. But even then you can work your way up. A lot of people take on jobs for a couple of years and keep bouncing around a lot until they can land a high paying, really high paying job. So it's a good amount of money and it's a really great career too. I mean, it helps support your family. And it, uh, if, you, if you have a family, it's, it's a great way to support them. Obviously money isn't, shouldn't be the reason why you get into this field, but it's certainly uh, a very good incentive why to be in this field. All right, number three is it's a growing industry. So every time you look at those charts of jobs and they kind of forecast out for the next 10, 20 years, usually healthcare related jobs are up there at the top there's always lawyers, but software development technology is always kind of going up and to the right. There's always more jobs every year opening up for this career field. There's always a lack of people that we need. What I always say is that there's a lack of qualified people. There's quite a few developers who want to get into this field, but if you can kind of stand out, you can be, you can do really well. You know how to interview, you know how to get jobs, you know how to kind of move your way up in the industry and build your career. This is a great opportunity, a great place to go and a great industry to be in. And number four is really there's no college degree required. So this isn't a field that you need to go and get any formal education or training in. There's no certification that you have to have to work at these jobs. You just have to have an employer that'll take a chance on you that will get you into the door and get you that first job. 
I know plenty of developers who either had non-CS degrees, no degrees at all, or just came straight out of high school, was able to work their way through getting one job after another, kind of building up their career, and was able to land a software development job um, in a high paying one at that. So no college degree required, but like anything in life, you know, things are gonna be a little bit harder if you don't have a college degree. Some HR departments may not even get you into the door, but at the end of the day, I think most places value experience. So of course there's the chicken and egg thing where how are you gonna get experience? No one's gonna hire you, but eventually you might have to take lower paying jobs or lower positions, but you can work your way up and get that software, high paying software development position. But it's great that this field doesn't require a college degree and you can get in at the bottom floor. And in my last list, I, I talked about how that this industry is moving really quickly as a kind of a negative, but it's really, in, to make a positive spin, spin on that, it's not boring. So software development has so many choices. You can be, if you're looking at the front end, this industry changes really quickly. There's a lot of different frameworks. There's a lot of different technologies that are getting popular and trendy you know, every year, every few months you hear about something else that you should learn. But really, um, software development, backend, things are always changing that's not boring and you have a lot of choices. So maybe front end and the technology stacks and the, and the fast movement is, is too much for you. Maybe DevOps is better, which is not really software development, but maybe back end or maybe there you can work at a company that's using some older legacy software that they haven't changed in many years. I worked at a software development company that was literally using software that was written in the late uh, early to mid eighties. And they had poured that over to many different systems and had maintained it. And there's plenty of jobs, plenty of companies that, you know, if it isn't broke, they don't fix it. So they're gonna have super old software. And if that's your thing, you can work in there. You don't have to keep up with all this crazy technology. You know, I wouldn't recommend it, <laughs> but you can certainly do that. So there's tons of options, there's tons of industries. You don't have to be in Silicon Valley and work at some tech startup. You can work, you know, at your local, you know, insurance company in your town or the local uh, gas company. I mean, there's probably a software development position in all these major companies in, in your town or your city that you live in. So you have a lot of choices and there's a lot of positions, a lot of different frameworks. And so you, there's a lot of opportunity out there. So it's definitely not boring and there's a lot of choice. So that is my five reasons why you should become a software developer. And if you guys have some reasons, you know, put a comment below. I'd love to hear what you think. Did I miss one? Do you think, uh, do you disagree with one? You know, feel free to leave a comment. And if you like these type of videos, um, you know, I, I'm kind of trying to come up with different topics. You know, let me know, put in the description below or put in the, in, in, in the uh, comments below. Let me know what topics you'd like to hear next. I'd like to hear from you and uh, take care. Thanks.